Having multiple tenants in your multifamily property is a great investment and a quick and efficient way to build equity. But as with every type of real estate property, there will be time to sell, buy, or hold. Here are signs it's time to sell your multifamily property and keep these in mind so that you won't hold your properties for too long and lose some money in the process. First, be aware of the rental market changes. At the beginning, everything is probably great. You have a pile of tenant applications. They all wanted long-term leases and the neighborhood was very desirable and the school district was highly rated. Now you do have a lot of applications, hopefully, but maybe they can't afford the rent anymore. You know, vacancies on the rise, uh, perhaps, you know, the economy has shifted a bit and, you know, your tenants are going out of the neighborhood for their needs. Well, it may just be the right time to sell your multifamily units. Uh, with interest rates, you know, hopefully stable as of the day we're doing this video, it may be hard, you know, so it may something make it hard to refinance for better terms and your property could turn into a money pit. Um, maybe not enough applications coming in anymore and, you know, not enough money to cover for the rents to cover the mortgage. And, you know, the, that's very, that's, that's a hard, that's a hard thing to happen. And this could be a reason to sell your house. Also, you could have tenant issues. A change in the rental market is not only the only reason why you have to have tenant issues. You can see that crime perhaps has gone up. You know, there's suspect activity happening on your property. And it means that it just, you know, if you're aware of these things, maybe may mean that right now may be the best time to sell. So you don't have to take worry about these incidents. Uh, the risk associated with tenants and subleases should also be considered before you agree to allow them in your property. You may lose funds, which lead to higher maintenance costs for the building or, or have to have law Law enforcement come knocking on your door if there's anything, any legal activities occurring at the locations of your uh, of your properties. And, you know, there's, of course, I hate to talk about it, but there's drug issues and different things that could be happening. And the government may potentially seize your properties if there's issues that keep them happening. Then you could also have management issues. Keeping an investment property is a time commitment. And you must manage the place by taking care of it and making sure that people who are willing renters know that they're what they're getting into before they sign anything on the dotted line and anything on the dotted line and if your life gets too busy for the responsibility though then maybe hiring someone could help if it just becomes too expensive to pay and maintain the property you might as well just sell it investors often find themselves in this position when they buy an investment property that is convenient to their home but then move out if the income from these rentals just doesn't justify having a manager many investors may decide it's time to but just say let's change locations and just set up and go. Then we also have tax scenarios. Buying commercial property has tax consequences. While you own the property, you get the benefit of deductions and depreciation. If you don't hold the property for at least two years before selling, you could be paying short-term capital gains. If you do hold it longer, then you still have to pay gains, but at a lower long-term capital gain rate. If the real estate market has declined, at least in the area of your multifamily home, it may be a good time to take a loss and offset other gains you may have in your real estate portfolio. If you're still unsure about what course of action to take, simply reach out. Let's, let's check the numbers and see if it makes sense for you to hold your property or sell it at this time. So if when you're ready to do that, just you simply just send a message, send us a message or give us a call 323-494-3252.